Today I'm in southern France and there are no particular targets because today we're just going to look for anything really. Uh, snakes, lizards, bugs, it doesn't really matter. And there will be other clips in this video from other days because I'm not going to find enough in one day to make just one video. So um, it'll be more of a compilation style. But yeah, anyway, up on a hill, here's where we begin. Found this western Mulpudia snake sunbathing in the rocks. This is a uh, Malpolon monspeciolanus, monspeciolanus, and unfortunately, it's an adult. Why do I say unfortunately? Well, this species is venomous. It's the only venomous species in France uh, of snakes that isn't a viper. So, I don't think I'm going to hold on to this one too long. It's uh, it's hissing at me. Now the release. There is a green praying mantis in this oak right here, a European mantis, a female. Here it is, if it cooperates. There you have it. Very vibrant. Put it in the sun. All right, back you go. Just found this little Mediterranean house gecko here under this rock. It's trying to bite me right now. You can see that part of its tail is actually regrown, which is pretty common with this species. Wish I can go back. Go ahead. Leave. Soil centipede here. Um, don't know the genus, but this is a Himantarid, family Himantaridae. Uh, some of the longest ones we have in France. And I don't think this is full grown. Oh, there's another scorpion down here. Another Euscorpius. It still has water droplets on it. Oh, there's another one. Look at that. There's one. And here's the other one. Not a very large species. We don't really have many large species in France. I think we have like, w yeah, we have one large-ish species. Hey, one in France, you may find Baguettes just laying around. Just saying. Two pretty cool harvestmen just hanging out in here. Oh, nice. A slow worm. This is the first one I've seen since I've been here. This is a species of legless lizard, Anguis fragilis. Um, and I think they get that last name because this tail they have here will sometimes be dropped by the lizard um, and it'll writhe around and that will distract predators. And the way we can tell that this is a lizard and not a snake is, first off, how much of this is tail? Here we can see the cloaca. It's about halfway through the body, which means that all of this is tail. Meanwhile, if we're on a snake, the cloaca would be somewhere around there. And then these have eyelids, which snakes don't. I can put this one back under its rock. Let it do its thing. Push some of this back in. Whatever, it'll find its way. Here's one of these house centipedes. We're out in the open. I think this one's post molt, post ectesis. They're not very big, but very leggy guys. There was this toad just hopping around here in the moss in this sort of habitat, more representative of a high elevation, though I'm not really sure how high up we are. Very interesting little guy. Black with some red accents on the top. And then some basic marbling on the underside. Cool little guy. Not sure what I'm looking at, but a nice toad indeed. We'll let the toad go back to doing toad activities. All right, I'll leave you alone now. Oh, there's a scorpion down here. Just fell from the bottom of the rock. A little Euscorpius. A male European mantis sitting right here. Um, sorry for the focus. Come here. Just trying to fly away. Uh, got it. Still trying to get away. This would be the third one I saw today, but the other two were flying, and I couldn't get them on video. Oh, 
Oh, a snake. Get over here. Very cool. This is uh, some some kind of smooth snake. Yeah. Yeah. Earlier, this guy was biting me quite a bit, but seems to have chilled out. Had a an easier time getting its teeth in than the other snake. There are two of these in France, by the way. I think this one's the more common one. Um, Cornella gerondica. And the other one is Cornella austriaca. But I forget the common name. It's something smooth snake, like the European or common smooth snake, snake or something like that. Let's get a better look at the uh, ventral side here because on this snake, it's really quite cool. There you go. In you go, little guy. There's an insect down here eating seed pods. And this is a very, very special insect. This right here, is Ephipiger diurnus, a diurnal saddleback bush cricket. And this has to be one of my all time favorite insects that can be found in France. This insect right here is an omnivorous species. So, for example, that caterpillar that's sitting right here could become a meal. In this habitat specifically, this species is quite tough to find. So, I'm glad to have found this particular individual. If I handle this one for just long enough, it should start chewing on my skin. Here you have it, chewing on my skin. And they can draw blood. I'm not going to let this one chew too far deep, but they can do quite a bit of damage. I am moving the little Ephipiger diurnus from that patch over there to this tree, because they're not really specialized in any particular plant, although there are some that they prefer more than others. And it seems like it could more easily get picked off by a bird in that patch where it was than in a tree. Off you go. I think this Euscorpius from under this rock that's actually eating something. I think that it's a uh, gravid. Could be. Not sure. It's gonna be tough putting this rock back without crushing it. But anyway, I'll do my best. On this plant right here, there's a random red phasmid just hanging out there. Missing two arms too. Poor guy. But it doesn't seem to be an adult, so. It'll grow them back. Snake. Nice. Oh. Got it. This snake right here is called the uh, Aesculapian snake, Zaminus longissimus. And it's actually one of the largest snakes that we have in Europe, especially France. So this is then just a little baby, which is quite nice because these babies have a really pretty yellow head, which isn't retained very well as they grow. Although the body pattern of, of babies like this one and adults is practically the exact same. And like all the snakes I've been encountering here, this one is also trying to bite me. There you go. By the way, this snake is named after Aesculapius, which is a god of healing in Greek mythology. And there's a rod of Aesculapius, which is a pole with a snake wrapped around it. And the medical symbol Caduceus um, is modeled after that, I'm pretty sure. That's the rod with two wings at the top and two snakes intertwined around it, which is this guy right here. Releasing this one now. This is one fat caterpillar we have here. It appears to be a sphingid of some sort because it has that horn on the back there. Though I'm not entirely sure which species it is or what the moth will look like, but the caterpillar is certainly very cool. Not sure if this one is done eating. Usually at this size, they are done eating and they will go off to find a good place to pupate underground and emerge as a beautiful large moth in the next warm season, which would be uh, perhaps early spring of next year. And along with caterpillars and moths from the family Saturnidae, which are the royal moths, oh, um, these uh, sphingids, um, sphinx, moth, and, and caterpillar, represent the largest moths, or the majority of the largest moths that exist here in France and Europe in general. It may look like this posterior horn is made to inject venom of some sort, but it's not. Um, it's benign, doesn't really inject anything, it's just there uh, to deter predators. And it is tough, and they will sometimes wiggle it around and uh, try to hit predators with it, but no venom. Random European mantis just chilling here. This one seems to have already laid its uh, egg case. Come here. I love these guys. 
quite common, but always nice to see. Oh, there's a newt back here. Hold on, let me retrieve him. Here's our little newt guy. I'm not really an amphibian person, but I can still appreciate them, though I may not know the species. Look at the underside of this little guy. Awesome. You can go back under your log. Pretty dark school of pendra right here. Another you scorpions down here. Oh, I lost it. Hold on. Here it is down there. Oh, this is a little baby Natrix Mora with a viperine snake. And it's not all too surprising because uh, right over here we have a riparian habitat. And that's where they'd like to hang out. Those are some reeds down there. And it appears that we have a spine right here of another snake. So since this one is so young, it may have had another uh, sibling that was somehow killed. I'm going to put this little viperine snake in the stream here, and then we can watch it swim. Ah. Uh, Getting away. Nope, never mind. It's trying to hide. I'll put it further out. You can go back under your rock. Invasive crayfish here from the genus Procambarus coming from this waterway. Pretty unfortunate. Oh well. Little uh, tree frog here. There you are, living in this field here. I'm sure it's quite a damp environment where it can thrive. I hope I'm not making a mistake when I say this, but I believe that these are an introduced species. We have a small dung beetle crossing the path here, and at first this may look like an ordinary violet dung beetle because there on the lower dorsal surfaces of the lower legs you can see that there's a metallic violet sheen. However, if I flip this beetle over you can see that it's not just violet but there seems to be some yellow, orange, red, green, and blue as well as the violet in here. Almost seems like this beetle is sporting the entire visible spectrum of color for humans at least. This isn't a beetle that will roll balls of dung, by the way. This genus prefers instead to find a pile of dung, preferably where the soil is sandy, and then make a burrow underneath it. This guy can go on his way, but on the other side, where it won't get crushed. Slow worm crossing the trail here. Love these. You can see that slow worms can actually go quite fast if they want to. Not much different from a snake. Let's see that tongue flick. Come on. There you go. All right, well, I'm gonna help this one cross the trail and then that'll be it. Go over here. Does that work? There you go. See ya. Subadult Euscorpius turgestinus. Just found this toad hopping across the road here. And I am not good with toads in any of Europe, really. So I'm not sure what species this is. But that is cool. So here you have it. Off you go. Um, kind of on a steep incline here. I hope uh, he makes it across without getting crushed. There are no cars driving here. I haven't heard any all night, so should be fine, honestly. Well, that will be all for this video, but there will be a second part. So if you liked this one, anticipate the next one. Anyway, thank you for watching.